Hello everyone and welcome back to our DAX for Beginners series. My name is Brad and in today's video we'll be stepping into the advanced side of DAX by exploring some powerful functions, rank X, related, and earlier. These DAX functions will enable us to build some sophisticated business calculations. All right, let's take a look. For this video, we've created a related dimension table for country called country details that simply includes a field for region. We'll use this table to work with the related function in just a few minutes. For now, let's begin with rank X. Rank X allows you to rank items within a table based on a given measure or expression. A common use case is ranking countries by total sales. We've already got our total sales measure, so we can move on to our rank X function. We want the ranking to be independent of any filters applied to the country column, so we'll also be using the all function. If we take a look at our setup here, the all function will remove any filters applied to the country column so that every country is considered. All sales is our expression by which we'll be ranking. DESC, or descending, means that the country with the highest sales is ranked as number one, and dense ensures that ranking numbers are consecutive even if there are ties. Let's add in a table visual and include our new sales rank measure, country, and all sales. We can see that the sales rank correctly ranks our countries based on their sales totals. If we add in a slicer and change our timeline, we can see that the visual updates to show the relevant country and ranking. If we use a filter to select a particular country, then the visual updates, but the country retains its ranking. This is because we have not adjusted the timeline slicer, so all of the relevant sales data for the entire data set is part of the context. Next, let's explore the related function. This function is used in calculated columns to bring data in from a related table into the current table. In our model, we have a country details table that holds an additional piece of information about the country, its region. Now, suppose we want to add a new calculated column to our financials dataset that shows the region for each country. Our calculated column would look like this. Here, related does the work of pulling the region value from the country details table for the corresponding country. Now, there must be an existing relationship between the two data tables in order for this to work. We have joined our two tables on the country field. If we add country region to our existing table visual, we can see how each country is aligned with its respective region. Let's talk about earlier now. This function is particularly useful in calculated columns when you need to reference a value from an earlier row context while iterating over rows. A common example is calculating a cumulative or running total within groups. Let's create a calculated column called cumulative profit. Here, calculate changes the filter context to include all rows where the date is less than or equal to the current row's date, and the country matches the current row's country. Earlier is used to reference the current row's date and country while iterating over the entire table. This creates a running total of profit for each country. Let's take a look at this in action by creating a table with country, date, sum of profit, and our cumulative profit column. If we sort by date, we can see how the two profit columns for each country match for the first month of the data table. However, as we move into the future, we can see the cumulative profit column continues to aggregate. To illustrate, we can look at Canada's profit figures for September and October. For September, we have 95,357.21. If we add that to October's value of 268,804.28, we get 364,161.49, which is the cumulative profit value we see for Canada in October. Advanced DAX often means combining multiple functions to answer complex business questions. Let's build an example that combines rank X and earlier to rank transactions by profit within each country. Our calculated column will look like this. Filter is used to consider only those rows where the country equals the current row's country. Earlier financials country provides the country from the current row context. 
Rank X then ranks transactions by profit within that subset, with the highest profit getting rank 1. To illustrate, let's pull in a table visual and add date, country, profit, and our transaction rank within country column. Here we see the ranking of transactions for each country, helping us identify which transactions contributed the most to profit. Let's adjust our slicer to only show the country of France, and then we can sort our table by the transaction rank. The highest profit for this country is ranked number one, and we can see how the ranking is assigned based on the descending profit numbers. Okay, to recap, we explored advanced functions and techniques in DAX. Rank X allowed us to rank countries by sales and transactions by profit. Related helped us enhance our data by pulling information from related dimension tables. And earlier helped us to work with earlier row context to compute cumulative values and rank items within groups. These advanced functions open up a new level of analytical capability in Power BI. As you continue to build more complex data models, combining these techniques will allow you to derive deep insights from your data. We'll stop there for now, but if you have any questions about this content, or would like the BIX team to cover a topic in a future video, please leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to stay updated on future videos, and thanks for watching.